Mm. Are you? Get me out of here! Oh, how interesting! It's a brain guy! I'm the Cortex Commander! More like transcranial tyrant! I am the ruthless commander of chaos! Shut, Shut up, up and sit, and sit down. down! Hey you skellywags! Today we're having a look at this guy uh, from the worst ex acid rain collaboration. There's this plastic protecting the plastic clamshell. Cortex Commander, Transcranial Tyrant. This is the black version, there's also a white and other one. This is the other one. As a result of the distorted time space of the Annex world, interdimensional portals of different worlds open and begin to intertwine with one another. There's the standard one with those guys at the back. I would actually grab all of them, but a bit pricey. Freeze there. If you want to, you know, read it. And all the other bits here. Clap. All right, let's get the open without um, damaging this card back. Don't normally do this. Not even with TVC. I would have rathered. I just have the normal acid rain box. Oh, well, that's quite nice. I'm out. There he is. So, uh, yeah. Accessories on the back. Safety. Very simple. This little baggie of goodies. And here he is. The... Ooh. Lovely plastic crack transcranial version of the Cortex Commander. And uh, he is the ruthless mastermind of chaos. It doesn't come off, I don't think. It's like a new piece. Based off the uh, Omanga Buck from Acid Rain World. Just, yeah, the same, but a little bit different. We'll do uh, some comparisons with those, actually, as I've not done any videos on the older Omanga stuff and designs. Here is Cortex Commander with Omanga. Well, the older Omanga. I did a video recently of the newer Omanga based on the Abaddon Geist Buck. These are different to those and we'll go through how and why. But first, we'll go through each of these. This is a custom uh, Abaddon uh, puppet I got from Battle Planets. There's a Joy Toy custom head there. I've got another one of that uh, somewhere. And few other bits he's added on. The belt here. And some other bits. Sword I gave him from that sword pack thing. He's got something there on his uh, thigh. He's got his gun on the back. This standard issue or manga rifle thing, which I like. You can just pop on the back there with that little bit that's yeah, hanging out. You can pop that on any of the others as well. This is Abaddon NCO, I believe. I gave him this head, which came with the uh, sword thing. This helmet bit can come off. There's this beautiful mug. And yeah, he's uh, like your standard soldier thing. Well, of the new lot anyway. Very sort of basic. Cool. This is Valdo. A sought after figure. Uh, character figure. I think it's limited edition as well, so pretty pricey. But a nice little figure here. This is the Flamer guy of Omanga with his Flamer. And uh, his, yeah, it's attached to the back there. You just, yeah, pop it on the top. This thing's quite nice, met metallic thing that holds the flame. I took off his little thing on the, the side skirting bit looked a bit yeah I just preferred it without and here is the reborn trooper big dude as big as Mason same size I believe and this gun is also used with Stangmatic but in red he's a big bulky dude uh, from Ori Toys we've not seen a Toys Lance version yet this um, plate here can be removed to um, reveal that his chest I think 
Don't know why. It's strange. And this is the Cortex Commander transcranial version. And we will remove this. So you can see the brain. Just comes off nicely. Easily. Look at this brain. Pink it is and all those reds. It's pretty cool. So that's the back. And that is the front. Remove it. Yeah. So this, you can actually remove the neck piece and change if you like. So, you know, you can add one of those other heads if you want or custom head. If you have a neck piece, you can put in there instead. Um, that's the little, little plate doesn't move. I'll just pop this brain back on. Pretty cool. And this thing just about fits. I'm going to have to twist it around. And then just get those tabs in on the side. Like that. See, you can move it about a little bit. Well, then it makes much difference as he doesn't really have a face. Although, you can twist it so that the um, front bit of the brain is, you know, moved towards wherever he's looking. I suppose movement up here is not as good see that look a lot more space there yeah they are different that whole bit there oh so he's uh, got some stuff here as you can see his gun nice looking gun with a bit of gold bling it's a bit rubbery, rubbery, more ru rubbier, rubbery, rubbier, more rubbery than I uh, thought it'd be. And this uh, knife is also a bit more rubbery than I thought it'd be. It's gold bling. Put it away here, and you can also put the gun in there too. But beware, it could be caught by this little bit there at the top. So just be aware of that. Also, is a uh, Little grenades here at the back. Little tabs you can kind of put it in. It's in snugly tight. Lovely, lovely look though. All right, so the rest of articulation, his arm goes all the way around. This will apply to all the Omanga bucks except for the Reborn Trooper. And this has got a shoulder pad there that allows him to move up like that, unlike normal Acid Rain stuff, to see how that works. Done quite well for this. Twist the bicep. And that bend. The elbow is very good. You can turn this hand all the way around. It goes in and out. On both sides. Left and right. Like that. Jean. Jean. Jean-Claude. Put away that little tyrant. That goes up about there, back there, twist that thigh, bend, double bend at the knee, go further than that and smack his own ass. This clown feet has a boot twist, goes down very nicely, up, and this pivot there. So still great articulation for this older Omanga buck. You can get a number of poses and things. You'll find maybe a bit of trouble with balancing as these uh, feet are proven to be uh, a bit difficult to try and uh, stand at times, depending on what kind of pose you're doing, I suppose. But I just love this awesome design these brain guys want more of them but they're pricey not as pricey as some other acid rain figures though so uh, that's a plus as you can see here look the standing is a uh, eh, bit more difficult anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments do you like these kind of brain guy designs i love them I think they're kooky weird and awesome and uh, if you like the video, I hope I've earned your thumbs up. For more content, subscribe, and I'll scale you later.